So starting off 2017, we've got one of our first mega unboxings, which of course is Loot Crate, which was not quite the one that started at all, but right around there. And of course, we've been loving the DXs, sometimes a little bit more than others. The theme's origins. So of course, me being the old guy that I am thinks of what? The origins of everything good and awesome and super cool in the universe? Star Wars. New <laughs> hope. Had to get the classic t-shirts out. I would say the last two or three years, uh, there's definitely been a big push for, you know, origin stories in movies. Uh, we've gotten Wolverine, we saw Deadpool's origin story. Now I think uh, these two boxes are going to go even farther back. I think we're going to be talking about, you know, the 30s and 40s. Uh, you know, old school Superman, Batman, maybe Fantastic Four. Uh, th yeah, things like that, like old school stuff. Yeah, I think she's right. So it's January. It's time for another Loot Crate Mega Unboxing, and the theme is Origins. Yay. Everybody, I'm Scott. I'm Kendra. Welcome to another Guru Review. Of course, we're gonna save the best for last, uh, so we're gonna do the core monthly box first. So, let's get into it. Now, just a quick uh, size comparison between the core box and the DX. These are pretty close in comparison to size, uh, but the DX is definitely, it's got something pretty big in there. Maybe something glass, I'm guessing, but it's... Definitely got some weight to it. Yeah, the DX boxes have been all over the charts in terms of size variations and weight, and sometimes two, sometimes three times the size. And this one's got some some weight. I'm, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm hoping it's not tumblers or something yeah. goofy like that. But and it looks like they're gonna have uh, fun with crafts again because yeah. there's some perforations <laughs> on this one, which can only mean one thing: forming the box into a giant hammer to yeah. hit your old man with, or something <laughs> of that nature. Ah, uh, look, oh, you yeah. called it right out of the yeah, gate. Yeah, I mean, that is classic, classic yeah. Superman right there. That's that's nuts how far back that's going. Wow, that is an old, old Superman. Yeah. Uh, yep, looks like we've got uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tiki Mug. Which, and... yeah, I guess the original cartoon on Nickelodeon would have been probably their origins going way back. Right, yeah, this is Raphael. Okay, yes, this is kind of cute. It looks like you can stack them and stuff. And oh, neat. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I think Raphael was my favorite, so that's cool. Shirt. Oh, cool. Oh, Mario. took me a second to figure it out. The original since 1981. Mario. Mario. What's killing me, though, is they're all over the place with their shirts. Yeah. Because they've had them to where the large was too small and the extra large was perfect or I'm swimming in them like the World of Warcraft shirt they had. So this is a large and this looks like it's just barely going to fit me. I don't know. So one thing that I wish Luke Craig would do is go back to its origins of t-shirts, back to the ones that I loved and were very predictable. Super soft, which has always been a big plus for me, but their, their size fitments is just all over the place. So... It's the Guild and Soft style, so this is like the fitted style shirt, but... He's very opinionated about his shirts. As well, you, you know, because I'm a big shirt guy. I always have been, but you know, you, you get an extra large, and one time it fits perfect, and the next time it's a dress. Yeah, that's understandable. So. And I don't want to look like I shopped at the Baby Gap, or yeah. that guy with the, the Hollister shirt. The oh, the Hollister shirt, yeah. Way too tight shirt. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and let's see. Okay. Oh, this is cool. So this is, it looks like it's a oh, cool. 1940 Captain America shield. One six scale. Oh, wow. Scaled replica. That is crazy. This is cool. Sorry, I'm peeking. Yeah. This is, this is actually pretty cool. That is neat. Yeah, this is the official prop replica. Captain America 
The first adventure? Yep. Avenger. That looks like the shield he had in the very beginning when he was just kind of going around with the girls being a motivational force yeah. where the, the guys in the armor are like, dude, get out of here kind of thing. Yeah. And he was doing the whole little skits and stuff like that. That was the the old yes, origin. This is actually really nice. A little stand and everything. Yeah. Kudos, Luke yeah, Crate. Really nice. That's that's neat. Yeah. So Something I'm, neat, it's unusual. I like it. It's yeah, well it's really done. Nice. Attention to detail, yeah. even on the the plastic backing piece. It's got Marvel on the Sorry, back. Are you supposed to look at it? No, no, I don't want to look at it at all. Let's just put this over here. No, yeah. but yeah, that is that is neat. That's got some great weight to it, actually. That's cool. We got the handles. Yeah, that's really nice. I it's do like a, that. That is cool. From it's uh, from EFX Collectibles, and yeah, I definitely everything that they send, it's always really cool. Definitely looks like it came from the movies, you know. Really cool. That is neat. That really is. That's yeah. cool. Okay. And now we're going really old school. Yeah. This is really cool. And you called it, by the way. So she did. Action Comics number one, June 1938. This is really, really cool. DC Comics certifies that this is an authentic reprint of Action Comics number one, volume one. Featuring the first appearance of Superman, the special edition reprint is exclusive to Loot Crate. That's really cool. I probably will open this, just because it's like too cool not to actually, you know. That is really yeah. neat though. Yeah, I mean it's a reprint, it. so I think you're safe doing it. You know, it's, it, it's, that's just super cool. And I do have it on the uh, kind of like matte printing paper that they oh, used to awesome. use, like the newspaper print. So I'm definitely going to have to open this up and take a look at it. That's cool. Yeah, the whole box is all about Superman. Superman. Oh. And we've got a pin, which you know what that reminds me of. I think his is better. Yeah. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pin, and Kendra's obviously a huge pin person. We had a friend, Johnny Tells the Hyper Geek, has his own pin line, which looks a lot like this, mm -hmm. but I like his pin yeah. better. Huge Ninja Turtle fan, so was he, because that inspired him to make his pin, but I like his just a little bit better. Yeah. Love your pin, Johnny. Origins, and this is kind of cool. It's like a comic book store or something. You know, all the classic comics. I see how, okay, yeah, it cuts down the side, and then you've got Superman on here, so you got your classic DC with like the, on the binder, on the back. It does indeed actually cool. do that. That is neat. We have to cut it up, and of course, then they've got it on the back, and I can just hear like the early announcer type guy in the 1938s. I don't think I can even replicate if I try, but that's how they talked in the 30s. Yeah. Everything was very fast, mm -hmm. extremely fast cadence. And they had this kind of weird pitchiness to their voice. Early, Clark decided he must turn his titanic strength into channels that would benefit mankind, and so was created Superman. Champion of the oppressed, the physical marvel who had sworn to devote his existence to helping those in need. Yes. I will get this if I follow instructions properly. I'm trying to do it without following instructions. Let's see, in the monthly little magazine, um, this is kind of cool. It talks about women behind the shield and it's kind of cool. It talks about how Peggy Carter pushed Steve to become Captain America and it goes into detail. That's pretty cool. The mini shields of Captain America. T-shirt. A kind of brief history of video games. Uh, I could see, you know, World of Warcraft and all the way back to 1950s. Very first video games. Some kind of like horoscope thing. Looks like they're doing a new loot gaming box. Mad Science Loot Gaming Crate. Create your own origin story. Hello Kitty Crate. <laughs> this is funny. The evolution of Superman's hair. Free comics for you. Um, get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one to five with the pin. So they're back to doing the you know free redemption thing with the pins. Ad for the wonderful Marvel gear and goods. An ad for the Mass Effect crate that's coming out, a limited edition. They're gonna have one of those again. Much desired Mega Crate came with a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles DVD set, D 
DC Comics premium format Superman collectible figure by Sideshow Collectibles. Of course. Looks like an iPad, Monopoly, a full scale shield prop replica by EFX, and a retro video game system. Very nice. Other looters. That was a very, very uh, cool box. For Origins, I definitely liked it. It was really cool. She was right on the mark with where she thought it yeah, was going to go really with cool. Origins. So I'm really excited to see what's in the, the DX oh, box. Oh, I think it's going to be great. That big, whatever that big if item it is. follows and yeah. suit with this, it's going to be super awesome. Yes. Fingers crossed for some Wonder Woman items, hopefully. We'll see. Wonder Woman would be good or like a really early X-Men for her. Yeah. Like Wolverine. Yeah. Early Wolverine, Wonder Woman first, then Wolverine. <laughs> So, let's get into it. it yeah, it's oh, really heavy this is great. And if it's anything like what we just saw in the core crate, this is going to be super, super cool. We've been dying to open this up with the holidays and stuff. We had done some things, so we were getting a little caught up, and one of our subscribers had mentioned how cool this crate was, and he was looking forward to our review. So, Frank, I hope you're enjoying it, because so far we are. That's the original Transformers. Yeah. This was the original cartoon. This was the badass one. This is the one your old man was talking about back in the day when we were talking about the original Transformers. Oh. Yeah. When you had that Decepticon t shirt. Oh, this is cool too. It's Optimus Prime. Yes. Oh, it's a long sleeve shirt. You're killing me, Luke Crate. Oh, no. But it's Optimus Prime. Oh, it's cool. It's like the, the classic Prime. The, the Da Vinci thing. Yes, that is super, super cool. OP 1984. Your old man was 11 years old. Oh wow. The original Transformers. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I had that diecast metal Optimus Prime with the tractor trailer. This was super cool. Oh man, that box is awesome. Yeah. Oh. I know. Oh it's wow, cool. look at that. And that's like from the original Batman. Wow. Ooh. Oh, that's Ooh. awesome. Uh, it's yeah, from the original is, uh, TV series. Yeah, it's got the Penguin, Robin, Batman, Catwoman, and the Joker. Mr. Adam West as Batman, of course. He, he still does a ton of voiceovers, that. everything else. Adam West has maintained his presence in TV for decades. That is really, really cool. Watch this when I was a kid growing up. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, they're like the bendable figures, kind of like Gumby. Very cool. And this is really cool. That actually. is neat. Yeah, I have it's a, like a, tin. a lot of these. Yeah. Um, <gasps> yeah, so it's like a tin of uh, Action Comics issue one, volume number one. Very cool. And yes, yeah, looks cool too. Oh. This is Atari. Now this is what was oh, out when cool. I was a kid. Atari 2600. And this was like the classic asteroid. Oh wow. So they've got right up front. I mean, this is what video games yeah. were. And you're probably going, that's just a bunch of lines <laughs> and squares. And that's nothing, there's no graphics. It's craziness. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. Mm -hmm. I think this is the history of Atari. Mm -hmm. Capsule edition from Dynamite. And those guys put a ton of great stuff out. Oh, there's the Atari 2600. I had that. That's cool. Your Aunt Pam and I had that as kids. That's cool. Oh, Space Invaders. Of course, they had that in the arcade as well, and in Asteroids, E.T. One of the worst Atari games <laughs> I've heard, yeah. Worst Atari game ever was E.T. Fall in a little hole and have to make his neck go up, and he'd be able to, oh, it's just horrible. Dig Dug. You dig in and put a little yeah. pump and blow the dudes up. Wow, look at those that's hairstyles. That's yeah. that's so 80s right there, man. That's the 80s. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Talk about memory lane right there. That is crazy cool. 
Sorry. <laughs> Between the transformers yeah. and that, I kind of lost my mind there for a minute. Oh yeah, there's more stuff in here. Yeah, and this one's so it's, they did both Batman oh, and the Superman. Detective. That's cool. And I love these like the metal posters. And this is so cool. Like this one, especially like the hats are like super like three dimensional and Batman and everything. I really really like these. Because this was the old advertising for the comics back then. Was like these metal one sheets. Oh really? I yeah. believe so. Yeah, I could be wrong. My bedroom is like super vintage themed, so it's like I really like this kind of stuff, and it'll probably put these, you know, by my bookcases. Uh -huh. so. Look really cool. Yeah. That is actually the TV from. Show. Yep. Yeah. Which was really cool. Yeah, this is cool. Yep. This is such yeah. a badass. I know, crate. Yeah, cool. I wonder if there's any like uh, specifically oh. like vintage theme boxes. More than meets the eye was yeah, the original Transformers, Transformers thing. Transformers. Oh man. Wow. Yep. Optimus Prime schematic shirt. I always love the DX, the, the insert mm -hmm. of the DX. It's got the glossy stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's just so cool. It is, yeah. Oh, and the Origins, they've got the Bat Phone. Would you open it up? This is the Bat Phone. Oh, it was yeah. on Commissioner Gordon's desk. This was super cool. It is, yeah. Luke Crate, you've done very well this month. You did really, really good this month. Yeah, it looks like... Just about everything's exclusive, except for the bendable figures. Um, but it does say that this run of figures was extremely limited, and the complete set is hard to find. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. This, and this is nice. But... I've got to say, there's usually with the loot crates, the DX, the cores. When we get a, we've had some great ones, some ones that we weren't very happy with, or weren't you know more me or more her. This is the first time I think we're both in love with everything in here, and I don't think there's an item we've gotten in the yeah, entire Mega Unboxing that we don't love. I mean, everything yeah. from the core to this, it's a home run for us. So really, really cool. So Luke Crate, thank you. you. You've done, I'll say it again, very well. Yes, yep. Definitely restored my, my faith with Luke Crate there because it was kind of going downhill. Right as we were getting ready to... <laughs> Yeah. Sound like another company we know. Yeah. So on that note, we want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and share with your friends. Until next time, stay weird. Bye.